Hey guys, so I just wanted to do this uh, video as an introductory to really know, so you can know who I am. For those of you who know who I am, you may not know some of me because I have been showing up different on social media. And so I'm like, you know what, let me just reintroduce myself, right? So my name is Judy and I have a business. A health and wellness business and the name of it is Entice to Renew. Go check it out, www.enticerenew.com. And I basically help individuals who want to rebuild the foundation of their health on a cellular level using biblical principles. And Entice to Renew did not start out like that. Um, it was just basically very surface level, eat healthy, keep your immune system good, you know, like it was just so basic. Um, I, well, no, I'm sorry. It wasn't basic. It was surface level. Um, but with the restructure, it's taking things back to the beginning so you can build the blueprint of your health and yeah. Um, and just recognizing that wellness is not just your eating. Obviously, I focus more on that part, that physical part. But it's your emotional health, it's your mental health, your finances, like all of these things, your relationships, your how, your home environment, like your everyday behaviors, like it all just ties together. Um, and also, I'm going to share with you um, a little bit about my background as well, because I did re recently launch my coaching services. And I am a care coach and um, I will be explaining that as well about what a care coach is. And, but let me go back to my background. I used to work in childcare for nine years. Um, my associate's degree is in early childhood education. My undergrad is also in early childhood education. And then I decided to go for my undergrad because I knew I wanted to work in mental health. Like I was like shifting in that way. I actually wanted to be a therapist. I wanted to be a marriage couple and family therapist. That's what, I, that's what my major first was. And then I took like one class. No, I don't think I started the classes. I was like... Mm, I don't want to do because it was like the schoolwork was like three years plus all the supervision and I was like no because to be honest with you I really did not enjoy school <laughs> like I did it and I was fine like I wasn't miserable but I wasn't someone that was just like oh this is great like you know what I mean but um, I did recognize that um, I wanted to go further and I needed to go further so I ditched the I ditched the whole therapy idea and threw it out the window and I did human services. So my graduate degree is in human services. And I actually did um, disaster crisis intervention as my concentration. Y'all, I wanted to work for FEMA. Like I wanted to do disaster relief. I remember when I was in Jersey, I actually took the volunteer training to be a DRCC. Don't ask me what it stand for because I can't even remember to be honest with you. I cannot remember at all. But um, that's what I wanted to do. I really wanted to work for FEMA. Like, that was the goal. That was the goal. And at the, the beginning of the pandemic, at the end of that summer, I was just like, I don't know. My life got flipped upside down because I was just learning a lot of things. And I really got sitting with myself, sitting with y'all. And I was like, what is happening? I even questioned my faith. Um, and I walked that out with him, um, like literally walked it out with him. Cause I had questions. I'm like, I know you real. I got some questions about your son. What was going on here? I was listening to a lot of stuff on the other side. So like it went through a whole thing. So anyway, that's not what we're here. It's for another time. And, uh, so after that. Yeah, I finished, I finished, because I was actually, yeah, I finished that 
summer actually in august yeah the summer of the pandemic that's when i finished school i was still working in child care and i got my first job in mental health um, working for catholic charities it was a program called intensive family support services so intensive family support services it basically um, we supported caregivers who cared for a loved one um, either that was um, diagnosed with mental illness or um, believed to have mental illness. And it's like, okay. Like, it was, it was, I remember when I first learned, I'm like, alrighty. I ain't know much because it was the beginning, right? I made like a whole like career shift. But it was so worth it. Like, I really actually enjoyed working for that um, program. And we actually held support. We did one-on-one -on -one consultations um, with the families because New Jersey does recognize um, that the caregiver goes through so much, so much. Um, and we do support the whole family. We did support the whole family. <clears throat> but the caregiver was my actual client. We did one-on-one -on -one consultations with them, whether they wanted it weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. Um, there was no, like, they were able to come and go as they please, honestly, like, with the way our program was. It was open in that way, and it was a free program um, ran by the, by the state. And we did support groups for our clients, bi-weekly support groups. And then in one of the support groups, uh, we actually had psychoeducational workshops to help the families learn more um, about different ways to communicate with their loved one and even understand different things um, that their loved one is walking through, different things that they're walking through. Like it, yeah, it was just, it was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And then when I moved here to North Carolina, I started working for a telehealth company. And my role switched because now I was working, I well, am working as a care counselor. Actually, it's a two-in-one. Um, the care counseling is meeting with clients once a month, but then also on the flip side, um, we have the care coaching, which is weekly. So I, um, so that's what I do. That's what I do. I do prefer the term care coach because care counseling, it can be confusing to a lot of people. They would think that it's therapy and it's not. Like, actually, I'm not clinical. I'm not clinical at all, right? But I have that educational background of those therapeutic modalities um, and the psychoeducation, like, to support someone. Um, whether it's accountability, um, we don't deal with medication. That's what the prescriber is for um, and everything. But we do offer that uh, psychosocial support for clients and goal setting, goal attainment, you know, basically that behavioral health piece of things. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So that's a little bit about me. Um, so how does this tie in? with Entice and Renew. Well, everything that I'm doing now with Entice and Renew has been things that I've been walking out with the father, myself individually. And now it's time that I can share this with you guys to help guide you um, and to share this information with you. Okay, I can't keep it to myself. It'll be very selfish of me to keep it to myself. And the other thing is, y'all don't know me as a care coach. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know that side of me. I've never really spoke about the mental health side of things. And so, you know, um, I know it's different. It's very, very different. Um, but now I can share that side with you guys. You know, like I have a lot of conversations behind the scenes. Um, but, you know, my business wasn't based off of that. So I didn't really want to talk about it. Like, what, what was the point? Right. But. It, um, I'm talking about it now. And so, so yeah, I'm a care coach. You need a care coach? Call me. I got you. So on that note, I got two more seconds before.